So let me. <laughs> What's good? Y'all already know what it is. You know what I'm saying? Young Stilo, Gravity Films. Um, right now, we on a new new interview. Let me know what your name is. Man, my name B Face FM, man. Shout out Lake Edwards. You already know how I'm coming, man. Shout out Gravity Films for having me up here. You already know. All right, so let's get right into it. Um, what made you want to start rapping? And and how was it like growing up in Lake Edwards? Because, you know, I, I went to Western Branch, so that's really Chesapeake, Portsmouth, Suffolk, Nazareth area. And we don't really know too much about the beach. And, you know, I feel like a lot of people think that the beach is one way. But tell them how you grew up. I grew up, you know what I'm saying? I grew up out Lake Edwards, you know what I'm saying? Shoot. It was just, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, like, man, I forgot what you asked. I'm sure. So, how about this? Tell me, tell me one of the most memorable experiences. Oh, yeah, well, matter of fact, I don't know what you, you said, how I started rapping and everything. Yeah, how you started oh, rapping, but before, 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 before that, tell me one of the most memorable experiences out Lake Edwards. Just being out there every day, like just knowing that I could go out there and it's jumping. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just jumping every day. I'm out there just making money as a young nigga, just selling stuff or robbing. That, but I changed though. Know, I ain't like that no more. But that was my most memorable thing, like me going out there and just doing stupid, crazy shit. Like doing stupid shit. What what type of stupid shit? Just robbing people. Just shit like that. What what type of people though? Like anybody that was nah, anybody like, that looked like. Nah, see, like I used to, I used to um, I used to rob people like that. Try I, they knew I had guns and everything, so I try to rob. I try to rob people like that. Like yeah, I'm trying to sell a gun. Just you know what I'm saying, and just don't take the money and run or something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. But yeah, yeah, nigga, you thought I was gonna buy a gun. Yeah, stupid motherfucker. Yeah. But now, nah, all right. So, <clears throat> so basically, what made you want to start rapping? When I say made you want to start rapping, I mean like, who, who was the first rapper that you saw? Like, hey, damn, that shit look, that shit look dope. That shit look cool. Like, let me try to do something like that. Um, my favorite rapper called that Black, but I think that's who it is. Like, I always used to listen to his music. Just like, I always wanted to go to the studio around, like, 16, 15. But I couldn't find no studios for real. So, you know, I was looking up to Kodak out there robbing. And just, I eventually found a studio as I got older. So, how would you... So what What about Kodak, though? Because like, he, he used to talk about robbing. Like, he used to talk about robbing and scamming and stuff like that. He used to talk about robbing. Because I feel like as as we, <clears throat> as as people mature, we, we gravitate to people that we see ourselves in. You know what I'm saying? So, for you, it might be Kodak. For me, it was, like, Lupe and Kanye. And then, you know what I mean, early on, it was, like, 50 Cent and shit. But we also, we all, like, gravitate to people that we see ourselves in. So, that's basically what you're saying. Like, he was doing, it sounded like he was, he was doing the shit that you was doing. Yeah. Yeah, he was doing what I was doing. Like, I ain't gonna lie, I just started scamming and shit too, so, you feel me? I ain't just start, but like, you feel me? I'm scamming and Now shit that now. you're doing it, now his I'm doing music it, it's, more, it's more like, okay, now, Kodak really out here, really talking that shit. Like, at first it was just robbing. I was young, robbing. Now I'm like, okay, this is what Kodak talking about. So, what was the, what was the first song that you made? First song you that I made. The first song that you made. Yeah, it was on. Um, it was canceled Christmas or something like that. I thought it was the hardest thing ever. I sent it to my homeboy. He like, he like, you did alright for your first time. I'm like, nah, you tripping this shit hard. You know how like you just make a song, you listen to it, and be like, nah, this hard. Then now I go back and realize like it won't. It was alright, but I, I I got I improved since then. You know what I'm saying? I way better. What 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 do you think made you improve though? I ain't gonna lie. What, I, what really made me improve when I got locked up, like cause I was get to the mic. When I when I what made me really improve when I got locked up, I came home. Well, I was locked up four months, 
everybody like bro my first my rat name was jay from le at first they like nah bro you need a new rat name so i'm like so we just sitting there thinking about a new rat name they was like big face then i added the fm because i caught the case with the fm though it won't mind or whatever i just added the fm because i caught the case with it so why why the name big face mm, it fit me out big, big face no money i'm big got a big face i'm a big fly dude fly dude so nah that's what's up that's yeah. what's up that's when and that's how i got better too like i came home at first i was just rapping just to rap but then like when i got locked up and then i changed my name i'm like i'm coming home on my fly shit and getting money shit you know i'm a rap rap like that rap so there. so were you able to like because i think this is how i think people get better they're able to listen to that shit listen back like a year later you know what i'm saying it's like sometimes you might in the moment you think man it's the most fire shit ever you know what i'm saying but a year later you listen back to that shit like why the fuck did i say that you know yeah, what i'm saying i'll be doing that too but i go to the studio a lot so like that's how i improve i try new things when i'm in the studio and i, I be in there so much that i have no choice to get better you know every time you do it, you're gonna get better that's how i look at it for sure it's like basketball like you got down you, you you dribbling every day you going your handle is gonna get better you know yeah exactly so let's 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 take it back to like the upbringing and shit what okay because i see the tattoos so what it's telling me is like okay you a street dude right so was there a particular moment that made you want to jump into that or like was it like people that you were seeing around was it normal brother he he caught his first tattoo when he was out the lakes and i just i caught mine i caught mine like at 15 he got locked up i started making money that's when i jumped in the streets my brother got locked up and i was like dang you know what i'm saying i need to send him some money and everything so i just started making money caught my first sleeve tattoo at like 16 on my birthday a whole sleeve for like 250 so you saying like your your brother was a big influence yeah, on you? Yeah, he's the one that made me start getting tattoos. But what about your brother though? Like, cause like when I think about my brother, right? I think okay, that nigga he was a street nigga, doing certain shit. Like he looked like the super nigga to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, what was it like for you? I don't know. I just seen him get him, and then once I like got him, I was like, I like how they make me look. You feel me? Like, I just, I just like tattoos now but do you think he was like besides the tattoos you think he was an overall influence oh, yeah, yeah. Of course. That's, my brother, so. that's why i jumped in the streets i seen him do what he do he got locked up then i just jumped in the streets like so when he got locked up i just so <clears throat> a lot of times you know what i'm saying I, in music we 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 i'm not gonna say we but sometimes it's glamorized like the streets and shit tell me Tell me about the downfalls, because a lot of people don't talk about that. You know what I'm saying? Like, me, I remember, like, I did certain shit, and then I, I got locked up. And I'm thinking, in my head, I'm thinking, like, damn, this why the fuck this shit happened. This why I'm in here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, you gonna be, like people, you're going to be in the streets. You're going to be with people. You get locked up. They're not, they going to forget about you. They might talk to you, but you gonna ask for some stuff, money. They ain't gonna send no money, you feel me? And then that's the, really the downfall. Like people ain't gonna really send you the money when you get locked up. Your homeboy might snitch on you. you feel me? You people might be plotting to rob you. You gotta watch your your day ones. They might be trying to rob you. Mm, how? So how? What's the? Okay, this is like a how can you tell if like how can you how can you see that in somebody somebody like like would you be able to see like okay this nigga he ain't he ain't right like he on some snake shit like i gotta watch out for him or is it is this is like certain things you really can't you really don't know it's yeah eventually you're gonna hear about what they did to the the other person you feel me or whoever they was they might be they they friend they grew up with you can be like, oh no nah, see i can't trust him and then if they rap, they might rap about sliming. Like, that's what they call it, like sliming, yeah. That they might rap about it. But I don't really trust people. I don't let nobody, I don't trust people. 
I know I already know better, you feel me? So you can't really try to rob me or nothing. I don't trust people. I ain't letting you hold nothing just to take a picture with nothing. I don't do that. That's how they get your ass. Hey, let me take a picture with yeah, it. Well, let, let me, me take you sweet. You feel me? Yeah. Oh, you feel me? Nah, you ain't holding my gun or whatever the case may be. You're not holding my money. I'm not. That's off the rip. You're not doing that. Don't ask me. You feel me? That's that's how people. That's that's what I. That's how people really get robbed. They don't really like. They trust people so much that like they they just trying to be cool or whatever. I don't know or whatever they trying to do. They let the people hold their stuff or whatever, and people just don't. So, is there anything that you learn that's a good thing? Cause I think I think there's some good things about like going through those situations. Like you learn you learn not to trust nobody. Like yeah, I learn not to trust people. That's probably the best things I ever learned. Like don't trust nobody. Cause they gonna take care of themselves before they take before they take care of you, at the end of the day. So, it's a lot of people. It's a lot of people that's in it for themselves. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's a, there's also certain people that have good hearts. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I, I think I think it's a it's few. It it's a, a lot, few. It's a few people. It's a few. And then like it. it you're gonna have to go through something with them like you're gonna have to go through times like you're gonna yeah. have to it's gonna have to be like years to where you yeah. whether you say okay i can trust this nigga yeah you know i trust saying? like i only got like two homeboys i can trust for for other than that i don't trust nobody like i didn't i didn't did stuff i didn't drop stuff off when the police was looking for trying to get a search warrant and they gave my stuff back you feel me shit like that other than that that's some real shit yeah that's some real shit so <clears throat> Let me ask this. Where do you want the music to go? I'm trying to I'm trying to blow like I'm trying to I'm just trying to make it out. Like I want to I want just want to blow like like feel me, be big. Like not just no local rapper. I'm talking about like have a a big fan base. I'm talking about like millions millions of views every video. That's how I want to do it. So, what do you stand for? Cause I think a lot of people, right? They're gonna see this interview, and what they want to get out of an interview is if I can, can I see myself in the person that I'm watching? You know what I'm saying? So, like, whenever we look at interviews, I think subconsciously that's what we're thinking. So, what do you want to tell the people that's gonna watch this? Like, if what do you stand for? Like, what what what's your you know what I'm saying? What's your what's your thing? You feel me? Shit, staying out the way, getting money. That's what I do. I just get money. I don't really mind being people's business. Like I hear it, I just be like, I know, I gotta get money. That's what I. That's my biggest thing. Just getting money, staying out the way. But other than that, I stand for like, just you know, lot, having respect for people, stuff like that. You know? What you mean by that? Like having respect for people. Like, if you if you if like if you was if you was with, struggling with me or whatever like like having respect like just you, if you my dog I'm gonna treat you like my you my dog or whatever you know what I'm saying like, if you looked out for me I'm gonna look out for you so like, yeah and I think I think you know I think a lot of people go around being like trying to be like have this tough guy like energy. Not even like what they look like, but just like the energy, like they mad all the time and shit. And and I think, I think that that kind of fucks fucks people up because the energy that you give out is the energy that yeah. you don't get. They think they think they bigger than what they really are. Like they think I don't know. They just had that energy to where they think they oh yeah everybody scared of me everybody this but no. Nah, feel me. I just keep it regular. You know people people be telling me like. Nah, he be scared to do this with you. He was scared to do that. I'm like, I don't, I don't be knowing. Like, I just be regular. I don't think that of nobody. Feel me? You just be doing you. I just be doing me. But people be telling me like, nah, bro. He was scared or like, you feel me? Like niggas be like, nah. They I don't see. See, I don't know why. I don't think people should be scared unless they did something. You feel me? Like me, 
you know, I do videos everywhere. I go in everybody hood. You know what I'm saying? And I'm I'm never really scared. Only because not because I feel like I'm a tough guy, but I feel like I'm I'm spreading love. Like I don't got no problems with nobody. So why would they have a problem with me unless they see see me with money or they see me with you know what I'm saying guns or you know what I'm saying a chain or something like that? Of course they would want to take. But other than that, you know I come with respect. You feel me? And I think like you know. Everybody should have that like that that respect. Like they respect themselves to where, you know, they show respect and show love to other people. That's that's what's going. Well, that's what they're gonna give back. Um. So, what you what you got next? Cause you dropped three videos now, right? Three or four. I dropped three, three, three recently, but I dropped I dropped four on YouTube. Yeah, I dropped one on my, my first video on my channel, then my second two videos on your channel, Gravity Films. Yeah. So, how do you plan on getting your music out? Cause, you know, a lot of people, you know, they think like they get a they get a they drop their video on my page, it's gonna automatically go up. Like I got six k, almost seven k subscribers. They think it's just that, but it's a lot more. Like, what do you think that you got to do to, you know, what I'm saying? get where you need to be you gotta show people you working and you like that you really rapping that's what i feel like show people you working show people that you serious serious yeah you know what i'm saying it ain't wrong ain't nothing wrong with being a rapper like everybody will be like oh i'm a street nigga i'm not a rapper it's like you know what i'm saying you can do both you know what i'm saying like you can take you can take your dream serious yeah. that's i took my i took rapping serious after i, I got out of jail like that's when I took it serious. At first I was just I was just rapping. At first then I came home like nah I gotta that's when I started that's when I started like trashing different. That's just when I you feel me? Everything like oh yeah, this, changing what I rap about with beats I be on. Like I just rap about flash flash shit. At first I was just rapping about like shooting or whatever, like or like or just turning up. Now I'm just rapping on like yeah, I'm getting money. I'm fly, you know what I'm saying? Try me if you want. Type shit. How long was you locked up? Four months. Four months. So what's the what's the biggest misconception about like being in jail? Like what what what's something that you know, people had this idea of what it's like. Like, what's something that, you know, is it like super like tough, everybody trying to fight all the time or like what is it? Like I don't know, from what I experience, there's a lot of respect in there. Like, there's more respect in there than there is on the street, I think, because, like, everybody looking out for each other. They got principles. And everybody can smoke you. Huh? He said what? And everybody can smoke you. Like, yeah. hey, that's like a lot of killers, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, like, even you, the killers, you, they, they be looking out for people. Like, you feel me? I was locked up with some people. But, like, other than that, nah, it's more respect, bro. Like. They just be chilling, but like sometimes they can turn up. Like you never know what somebody going through. They might feel like they ain't coming home, or they might feel like you feel me. They going through something. They might just be taking it out. You feel me? You don't know what nobody going through in there. But other than that, everybody just trying to go home. But like, yeah. So what do you want to lead? What do you want to lead the people like? A message that you would, you know what I'm saying? Anybody that's watching this, because shit, years from now, this shit could do a million, you feel me? And this is the early stages, so, yeah, it's the first interview, so it's like, damn, like, they want to see what you was about when you first started. Like, what's the message that you would get everybody? Just stay out the way and get money, like, run a bag up, and don't let nobody, like, leech off you. Just remain humble. That's what I do. Just be humble. You know what I'm saying? I don't really brag too much. Cause at the end of the day, I know what I'm, how to care myself and I know what I'm about. I know what I can do, you know what I'm saying? I don't really gotta tell people. For sure. All right, there we go. Yeah. Turn up. Gravity Films. Yeah, Gravity Films.